Do you struggle with unexplainable feelings sometimes? Do you struggle with all of a sudden having a thought in your head and you're like, wait a minute, I don't want to do this or I'm not really thinking this. Do you struggle with sitting with people or large crowds and afterwards when you come home you feel so bad and so drained? Well, my love, unfortunately, you don't know how to protect your energy. I will explain to you in this video how you can protect your energy, what you should be aware of, and also how important it is that you're aware of these things. Hi guys, my name is Liz and welcome back to my channel. Okay, let's get right into it. First things first, understand that your thoughts are sometimes not yours. So first thing is without getting spiritual, your thoughts can come from your parents, your thoughts can come from your environment, your teacher, your friends, whatever. Like the way you think about life, the way you think about things can come from those people, but it's not necessarily how you feel about those things. You just you just took that opinion from the people around you and you made it your own. But you shouldn't do that because sometimes it's not the right opinion and you can feel when it's not the right opinion. So you can actually distance yourself and be like, you know what? I don't think that way. And you don't have to think that way. You have the power to think for yourself. And the most confident people and the people that believe in themselves always think for themselves. We also have our own intuition. When you have a certain way of thinking, right? Maybe it's your culture or whatever. You have to sit and you have to think, okay, is this really how I feel? Ask yourself, is this how I feel about the subject? Is this what I believe in? If it's a yes, it's a yes, but if it's a no, it's okay. You can have your own opinion, you can have your own thoughts. You don't have to take other people's thinking or other people's thoughts. Now, with getting spiritual, your thoughts can also come from entities. Entities are not demons. Entities are basically spirits that, uh, so basically humans that have died, but their soul and spirit still hasn't moved on yet. Because either they're scared to move on, because they're scared of religion, they think they will go to hell and whatever will happen, so they haven't moved on, so they're still on earth. Or they're literally like still seeking revenge on earth for whatever happened in their lifetime, so they don't move on. And the ones that are seeking revenge are the dangerous ones because they like to influence people in a negative way. See, there's lots of ways that entities can latch on to you, uh, but I, I will discuss that later in the video. But right now, for me, for example, uh, when you are in a very depressive and uh, traumatized state, like I was, uh, when I was in my depression for two years, like severe, severe depression, I noticed that what I was thinking were not my thoughts and I even got scared because I used to really not believe in these things. I mean, I've experienced a lot of paranormal things that are unexplainable my whole life, literally. But this was like, ooh, okay, Liz, now you have to watch out. Because when you are very depressed, when you are stuck in your trauma, you're vibrating on a low level. When you're vibrating on a low level, it's easier for an entity to latch onto you. When you are vibrating high, you're working towards healing, you're working on bettering yourself, you're, you're like finding joy again in life, you're just being positive, you're like looking at life in a brighter way, it's, they almost cannot attach to you. It's un impossible because you're very protected in that state. Obviously, when I was going through my trauma, and uh, my depression, I was in a very, very low vibrational state. So one day I literally had like, I woke up and all of a sudden I have this thought in my head, but Liz just jump out of the window. And I was like, huh? I was like, I know for sure I'm not thinking this. I'm not thinking this right now, you know? And then it was like, J jump out, jump out. It just makes you jump out of the window. And then I literally started comp contemplating like, should I jump out? Am, am I really thinking this right now? And then I understood I was not thinking this. This was not me. This was something outside of myself. So then I was like, no, Liz, literally calm down right now. Don't do anything. So what I did, because the voice would not stop, is I went into the shower. I took a cold shower over myself until it stopped. Then it just went away. And then another day I had, I woke up and uh, I used to have a fake account back in the day where I just would follow random accounts. And I was like just scrolling on Instagram like usual. And all of a sudden I have this thought in my head. Oh, this person is so ugly. This person is so bad. I hate this person. This person is bad. Oh, and so many negative things after each other, after each other, after each other. Then again, I realized these are not my thoughts. Again, I went into the shower. I took a cold shower over myself. But then I started to realize, Liz, you are in a vulnerable state. 
you have to be very careful of the things you're thinking of. Same way uh, it happened with a friend of mine. She was in a very, very depressed state and I took her to my therapist for uh, soul healing or whatever. And my therapist also told her, listen, watch out for the things you're thinking because your thoughts are not yours. There's now lots of entities around you and you need to be careful. When you are even looking at someone or talking to them and all of a sudden you start to get like nasty thoughts about them or like bad thoughts, understand when those when those thoughts are not yours you have to ask yourself in that moment is this what i'm thinking right now is this really what i want right now ask yourself these questions and your intuition will give you the answer another thing is understand when your energy is not yours i have ever since i was young been a person that could feel energies from people i didn't know what it was i didn't know what i was doing whatever but i could feel it and I knew it was not something normal. Like for example, I had uh, two friends when I was younger, I was eight or 10 years old then. And when they would talk to me, I knew when they had gossiped about me. I just knew. Just I knew when someone was like uh, having not good intentions with me, I knew I could feel it. When I, when, when I became older, I, it started to get more and more intense. So when I have friends and she was so nice to me, she was so good at saying all the right things, I could feel it was not a good person. And then uh, I would ignore it because I would feel like, mm, let me give the benefit out of that. But then at the end, I was right. Like everything I was feeling was right. But I just like let my thinking manipulate me. But now when I started to remove my uh, traumas and I had lots of spiritual awakenings and I did soul healings, my intuition became very strong to a point where when I walk into a room, I can feel the energy of the room. When I meet someone, I just look at them, I, I can feel their aura and I can feel their energy. When this started to happen to me in an intense way, I didn't know how to handle it. So what I would do is I would go home and I would lock myself in my apartment. I would not leave. I could not be around a lot of people because it was draining me. What was I doing? I was taking on people's energies. I was taking on all their hurt, trauma whatever i was taking it with me i would come home and i would be depressed and then i understood okay i need to know how to protect myself i had the same thing actually um a few weeks ago with a friend when i met up with her i was like uh, i was just normal when i was going to her i was feeling good about myself i was very happy i went to her i was still happy then all of a sudden we start talking and then i start to feel like oh i'm getting very insecure i'm, I'm feeling desperate and then i'm like where is this coming from like why why am i feeling this way right now you know i, I literally don't feel like this and then i understood oh okay i'm picking up on her energy those are not my feelings and this is what i need you to do right now if you're in this situation don't take other people's energies as your own so i want you to track yourself when you go out so when you go out i want you to notice this before you're leaving your house how do you feel so ask yourself, okay, how do I feel? I feel good, I feel pretty, I feel whatever, you know, I feel joyful, yeah. Then you go sit with that person. How do you feel afterwards? Do you feel, uh, do you feel bad? Do you feel drained? Do you feel, do you feel whatever they're feeling? What is going on? So when nothing has happened with that person, you just had a normal interaction and afterwards you feel somehow bad, then that means you had an energy exchange. It's good that you notice in the moment then oh okay it's not mine i don't have to take it as mine it's theirs what you can do is first of all prayer right basically you don't have to like pray a specific way people think like oh i have to do this this and that and I have to no when you are asking god for something when you're calling upon god and you're asking him for something like god please protect me that's a prayer literally saying god please protect me is a prayer okay so just mention God, make sure every single day you mention God. So what, even if it's the universe, it doesn't matter. Ask. Okay. There are like, uh, angels, guides, God, they're listening to you. Okay. Ask for whatever you want. Ask. So before I leave the house, I always say I'm divinely guided and I'm divinely protector, protected and God, please protect me. And then also, after you had that interaction with that friend, that person, maybe your family member, it can be anyone, right? When you have that interaction, what I do is I go home and I sage myself. Now, I don't know, like I used to have palisantro, it's like a, a holy wood uh, from a tree. And I used to do that and it's also very good for inner healing and healing your space. But sage is also very strong. 
it's good to cleanse your uh, space. It's good to cleanse yourself. Like even my uh, my therapist, she uses sage to cleanse a house when there's entities in the house. So saging yourself after you have the eight direction, you will feel much lighter. And then as well, say this mantra: I call back all my power from all people, places, and situations that have been stealing it without my consent now. And I give back any power and energy that is not mine to carry. You say that. You have to say that before you sleep. You have to say that after an interaction. You even have to say that when you wake up. So you basically call your power back to you. Another thing is don't fear things that were never meant for you. I had this uh, nail lady come to my house one time and we were talking, whatever. And then she basically complimented me on something and I told her, I'm like, uh, yeah, I love your glasses. You know, she had uh, such nice glasses. They were like funny. And she basically said to me, oh, thank you so much. She's like, but I'm wearing these because I'm so scared uh, of getting glaucoma in her eyes. And I'm like, what do you mean? And then she's like, yeah, basically my mom got glaucoma and she's, she went completely blind now. And the doctors have told me that it's in the DNA and that it's also possible for me to get it. So she's like, that's why I'm really scared and that's why I always try to wear my glasses because I don't want to get glaucoma. And then I literally looked at her and I said, listen, just because your mom got something doesn't mean that you're going to get that same disease, okay? Doctors, they will say, oh yeah, just in DNA, DNA you will get it. But you're going to manifest that for yourself, which are fear. Fear is a very strong emotion. When we fear something, we attract it, okay? So you constantly thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna get the same disease, whatever, and it's constantly living in your head. You're already creating that disease when it doesn't even exist. I told her, it's very sad what happened to your mother, but somehow that was meant to happen for her soul in this lifetime for whatever reason. It was meant to happen for her. There is a lesson there, there's something there, you know? But just because that was your mom's sole purpose doesn't mean it's yours. You guys need to stop thinking just because we're family, just because we're related, the same thing has to happen. We're not, we're all separate souls, okay? We all have our separate mission on earth. What happens to another soul, even though they are your mother in this lifetime, doesn't mean it has to happen to you. So stop taking on other people's diseases, other people's fear of things as yours. It's not yours. I had a friend one time and she went to a tarot reader and this tarot reader had told her like, yeah, watch out for cars because you might uh, pass in a car accident, right? And then she was like, Liz, yeah, that's why I'm so afraid of cars, this and that. And I told her, listen, that tarot reader doesn't know what she's talking about. You right now are manifesting a car accident for yourself because you're living with that fear. You're avoiding cars everywhere because you think like, oh my God, this might happen because a tarot reader said it. But you create your reality. And this is what you're creating for yourself right now. Because even though the car accident didn't happen, every single day you're living in a state of mind that a car accident is going to happen. So your body is starting to believe that a car accident will happen when it was never meant for you. Stop taking on other people's fears. Stop taking on other people's problems. They're not yours, honey. See, what we don't understand yet, we are our biggest enemies. We are our biggest enemies. We are the ones that judge ourselves. We are the ones that put ourselves in bad situations. But that's why I need you guys to realize you guys have the power to get yourself out of it as well. Stop thinking that life is just a set way. We have the power to make it go the way that we want it to go. But for that to happen, you have to realize that you're in control of your life. Also had like lots of like female family members. They're like, oh, love is just not for me. Oh, men are not good to me. Oh, I never find a good man. Honey, you will not find a good man. Look how you're talking. This is how well, you're constantly telling yourself. I will never find a good man. Love is not for me. You're repeating these affirmations in your head. How will your reality look then? Of course, you will attract bad men. Of course, you will not attract love. You're not even open to attract love. So be careful what you're putting into your mind. Be careful of these things. Not engage in negative news, with negative people, with uh, negative media. Listen to me, okay? You guys are constantly watching negative videos. You guys are constantly reading news that is so negative, filled with so many lies as well. And you are like engaging with negative people back and forth constantly. 
they're just trauma dumping on you you constantly feel bad after talking to them mm, do you guys realize you don't have to do that like do we realize we don't have to do that you can say no i don't want to see this listen you want to watch the news i get it you don't want to be ignorant okay that's fine you can watch the news but if you're constantly imagine you wake up you're looking at the news it's negative you're looking at social media it's negative what does that put you in a low vibrational state now you might think why would they do that uh because they want to control you shocking higher up people the leaders want to control you and that's why people need to be in a low vibrational state when people are vibrating low first of all entities cannot get attached to them and second of all you are not powerful you will not be conscious you will not be able to think for yourself so higher ups don't want you to think for yourself they want you to be like a slave so in order to keep you there they try to be as negative as possible so you feel bad another thing is with negative people you know if you have negative friends if you have negative family members it's okay to say you know what i don't want to listen to this right now i literally had a family member who would constantly tell me over and over again their traumas their traumas traumas to a point that i said you know what i don't want to listen to this anymore go to a therapist literally because i'm tired of this i feel so bad i cannot carry this i'm already carrying my own stuff my own traumas and i'm trying to get rid of them i cannot carry yours i don't have space right now you know so then i literally told them go please go to therapy and try to do something about it like therapists literally it's their job to listen to you it's their job to try to help you right so then they did that and they got much better and they literally feel better because saying it to me and me listening over and over and over again and giving you advice but you're not listening to me will not help and i cannot help others if i can't help myself first so i need to make sure that i'm in a good state of mind so i can help other people i cannot afford to be down and low vibrational and not feeling good because of because of other people i can't and it's the same with negative comments or haters and whatever don't listen to these people they are not even people to me i swear when i hear, see a hate comment i just see this this give me your energy so with them i don't even i don't even rate them like at all they're to me they're just gremlins okay don't listen to gremlins literally don't listen to haters don't let listen to negative people because again your energy is going there honey protect your energy your energy is yours okay your energy is you yours and for your loved ones and people that appreciate you and love you and not for people that want to suck it out of you and dream do not kiss or sleep with random people okay why do i say this again this is a way where entities can get attached to you i see what when people say like for example to men like oh yeah you should have so many women you should sleep around this and that that's the life how to be you know all these alpha males this is the dumbest thing you can do as a man and honestly i believe that these guys are literally trying to make men weak i had this friend once and she had like a boyfriend a guy she was seeing and they would hook up constantly and then she said ever since i started seeing him i started to have like lots of sleep paralysis she's like i started to see like weird stuff like things start to move in my room all these things and i told her can you ask the guy that you're sleeping with if he has ever experienced something paranormal or something weird you know obviously she, she was not gonna ask him hey do you have entities whatever then she asked him that and the guy you know what he said he said yeah you know he's like at night i see like shadows standing in my room but they have no head and i told this girl he has entities around him okay so i told her either he goes to a healer and he heals himself or you guys like you have to stop sleeping with him so the paranormal stuff goes obviously they didn't have really a serious relationship they're just hooking up so she decided to stop sleeping with him when she did she also stopped having sleep paralysis and she stopped like having weird stuff going on in her room this is why i exactly say that it's so important to watch out who you sleep with and don't just sleep with lots of random people because how can you get closer to someone than literally sleep with them how there is no other way for a human to get closer to someone than to physically literally be inside of each other right so whatever that person has traumas entities all these things you will take on to you and whatever you have they'll also they also take on to them now imagine that person sleeps with a lot of people that is a lot of things for you to take on 
so you will not feel good afterwards if you also look at women and men that sleep with lots of people they're always depressed this is because there is too much of an energy exchange with too many people so be very careful of this don't listen to these people that are saying oh yeah it's good to just sleep around whatever it's not good like i don't even care about reputation wise think about your soul and think about your energy you are sacred your body is sacred don't just share this with anyone another thing is don't allow random people into your house again your house is a sacred place it's where you sleep it's where you spend a lot of private time random people should not be coming over into your house you don't know what people are carrying with them okay when they come whatever is around them might stay in your place and then you will start to experience things that you don't like i have just experienced this yeah and i've literally had to cleanse my house so it's not a joke your house is a sacred place do not just allow random people another thing is do not spend your energy on trying to fix or change someone listen i have done this for so many years i tried someone close to me i tried to fix them i tried to change them put my energy into them didn't work didn't work i had sleepless nights i'm not someone that will give up on someone that i love i will not do it i refuse like i just will help i'll try to help until i came to a point i'm like you know what liz you are wasting so much of your own energy you are stressing so much over this that it's better for you to let this completely go and i stood back and i said you know what if you want to change you're going to change but i cannot make you change i cannot fix you and it's not my responsibility to fix you and when i stood back this person started to change themselves because they they literally started to realize like you know what maybe liz is right and i need to fix my behavior only when i stood back and i said do whatever you want i'm done see you can bend over backwards you can do backflips you can go stand on your hands but if someone does not want to change they will not change not for you not for their mother not for their father no one a person has to want to change themselves and you putting your energy your sacred energy into that person pouring and pouring and pleading with them and they don't change then it's time to say okay i back off it's on you now that is your issue now and sometimes they also go through these things that you feel like oh my god they shouldn't be going through that like you deserve so much better but maybe it's their life lesson maybe it's their mission in life maybe that's something that they need to learn maybe it's a karma they have and you're coming in between that and that's why it's not working you cannot intervene then you have to just step back and be like okay you know what that's on you that's your lesson to learn and when you learned it when you came to that acknowledgement then let's see how we take it from there. Same way how men and women like try to change their partner, they think they can fix them. You cannot fix anyone. You cannot make them change, you cannot whatever. When a person decides, you know what, I want to change, whether it is for someone else or just for themselves, that's when they will change. But they have to make that decision. When even people tell me like, Liz, you changed my life. No, you changed your life. I just make the content and you decide whatever you do with this. You can watch my content and say, I hate this girl. I hate her, you know? Or you can watch it and say, you know what? Some things I don't agree with, but some things she's right and I need to work on. Let me do that. That's it. And then you decided for yourself that you were going to change. I was just a tool that you used, but it was your decision. And I'm proud of you. Another thing is do not engage in unnecessary fights with people in order to protect your energy. Like for me, for example, I constantly get like, comments uh or like dms about my appearance about my lips about blah 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 and if i want to i can respond to that person and i can fight with them all day i can sit there fighting but why would i do that why why would i give my sacred energy to that person so they can feed off of me you know and i can literally take their energy and make myself feel bad because i'm gonna go to sleep feeling bad i'm gonna be like liz why did you answer liz why did you fight liz it was not worth it i'm gonna be overthinking these things why you know no let them keep their shitty energy for themselves like these people have to go to uh, to bed with themselves that is already sad enough like imagine you have such you're such like an 
dark person that you feel like you want to put other people down or make them feel bad about themselves i feel bad for you because at night you sleep with that heart like i feel bad for you and i wish you healing and blessings another thing is salt baths and cleansing shower so when you're showering uh, after a long day and stuff, it's very important to shower and you visualize the water coming off you and taking off the, let's say you visualize in your head taking off dark energy of you. So like, like darkness is coming off with the water. I visualize that. And that you also have to like visualize like light coming out of the waters and pouring onto you, you know? And you can say like this water is cleansing me i'm being cleansed from anything that's not serving my highest good and like that you cleanse yourself another thing is salt bath salt is very good to cleanse your energy so you can just lay in it and it removes negative energy another thing is uh cleansing in the ocean so you go into the ocean you just you just swim whatever that water also takes away lots of negative energy you guys have to start using nature more in order to cleanse yourself ground yourself again even walking with your bare feet in the ground uh like in grass in sand whatever walking and grounding yourself feeling the ground underneath your feet is very good especially if you struggle with anxiety or panic attacks for you to feel something underneath your ground underneath your bare feet will ground you and make you realize hey hey we're still on earth like we're still here and another thing is cover a mirror that is facing your bed when you are sleeping at night a mirror can be a portal for whatever to come in and out okay most of the time people that don't cover their uh mirror when they're sleeping they will have sleep paralysis and nightmares i also had that and uh, i covered my mirror and that was facing my bed and ever since i did that i do not have any sleep paralysis or nightmares anymore so really really if you have trouble sleeping try to cover your mirror yes, this guy wants his belly wraps <laughs> so i just think it's very important that we know a lot about the soul i think it's very important that we understand more about ourselves on a spiritual level because at the end of the day everything is our soul and things do affect our soul even though we think like oh whatever it's not real we can't see it whatever no these things are very real life is much more deeper than we understand um and the more you get to know about it the more you also understand how powerful you are and that you do control a lot of things almost like everything i want to talk more about like spiritual things and also like my healings that i've done soul healings things literally that were like a miracle but i just need i hope this video reaches people that are like open to the subject and like understand life in a deeper level you know so i can start making content like that because i think that will be one of the biggest things what i can help people with so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video guys i love you guys so much and i appreciate you guys so much and may god bless you to the fullest extent with everything that your heart desires i love you guys so much Bye bye